that's really em- empowering as as a parent to look at that and and our bedtime reading is like watching Netflix right before bed. It's the same thing. We're preparing them for the future. Just to give you a, a data point, years ago. Jack was concerned, my son was concerned about jumping into the pool and we could never get him to do it even though he was taking lessons. And so eventually he did it on his own. And I said, what was different today? He said, I decided to believe in myself like Piglet did in Winnie the Pooh. So it was a direct one-to-one wow. that that narrative, just like you said, it, it, it gets in like using the transactional analysis words, tapes. Like you're literally downloading inside of them in their their DNA of their memory and their consciousness, the, the tapes. So that begins super early in our society. It's really indoctrinating them into our cultural values. And it sounds like it's continuing as adults by what we're pouring into our minds from a uh, movie and, and, and book realm as well. That's an awesome story about Piglet. That is so awesome. I'm going to have to remember that. You got it. You're um, more than welcome to share as well. I think, yeah. and and pigs. I mean, those three little pigs, and we learn. Oh, look, the first pig. Let's let's not build houses of straw. That second pig. Let's not build houses out of wood. We got to build strong houses. So we have a, a cautionary tale. And sometimes stories that of what not to do are just as important as stories about what we should be doing, what, which is what the third pig did. So these stories are so full of failure, but also triumph over the adversity that we face. And so I'm so, I think it's such a cool story about courage of how we learn courage from our heroes, which is why we need heroes so badly. We need heroes who will bring out the best in us. I think, so thank you for sharing that. That's powerful. Mm -hmm. 